We're going to be demonstrating the Cineron's IPL treatment today on my neck. And so um, what happened was when I was younger, I thought it was great to have a tan. And so I spent a lot of time in the sun and I used to work out a lot. So I had a good body at the time. And so I loved to have my shirt off and I loved to be in the sun exercising and bike riding and doing whatever I could to get a nice brown tan. But what happened subsequently was I developed poikiloderma. And what poikiloderma is, it's basically sun damage on thin skin. And you can see on my neck, I have this, this darkening of the skin and I also have a red undertone to it. And one of the best devices to help treat this poikiloderma is the an IPL device. Now, IPL stands for intense pulse light. It's also known as a photofacial or broadband light. We here at Contour Dermatology selected the Cineron um, IPL device because not only does it have the broadband spectrum of light that will treat both reds and browns, but it also has a radio frequency to see, which in theory helps to drive the laser deeper to get um, a better result. And I love the radio frequency because on its own, the radio frequency will also stimulate some collagen elastic fibers by itself. So you combine the two and you have a supercharged system to help get rid of poikiloderma. Um, so Darlene's going to get started here. I already wiped off the numbing off of Dr. neck. That's why it's a little bit more red. Okay. All right. So now I already wiped off the numbing off of Dr. neck. I'm just going to put some gel, quite a bit of gel actually. I joke with my patients that applying and removing the gel may take longer than the procedure itself. How are you doing, Doc? I'm doing great. Now, an IPL really is not a laser. Um, what makes a laser a laser is three things. It's one wavelength and this device is actually multiple wavelengths. Uh, number two, it's collimated, which means it goes in one direction. And with a light source, this light will go in every direction. And third thing is that it's coherent, which means uh, laser beams travel together like a school of fish. Of course, with this, they do not. Um, so because this has multiple wavelengths, it can target multiple things. And so it's going to target the browns and the reds of the skin. And also, um, could remove some hair, and um, can also stimulate some new collagen. So what that means is that I'm going to get rid of my reds and browns, tighten up my skin a little bit, and also for guys that want to keep their beard, they have to be very careful not to use this, this laser if they have uh, dark hair and light skin, because it will destroy the hair follicles or remove the hair follicles. Now, some guys that do this really want that to happen, so they're not upset about it at all. I was kind of sad because when I first got this device about 15 years ago, I started doing it, and um, I actually wanted to keep my beard, and my beard could be a little bit tacky. Do you ever grow your beard out often? When I was younger and I was all dark, I, I had a fish in there all the time. And now that I have a braid, I'm not excited about it. I don't like that whole silver box idea. Um, now, with this device, it's a pretty painless treatment. Uh, we do do pre-treatment with topical numbing, and also I do, I personally like to take 600 milligrams of Motrin. And the 600 milligrams of Motrin always changed my life. But this is another one that treatment. This one? Yeah, we want to make this really comfortable. Um, with this device, we recommend doing a series of treatments of packages of six, and before you'll actually see the results. Now, back in the old days, I, I grew up without a lot of money, and so I used to tell people, well, try one and see what you think, and then we'll do more if you like the result. But what I learned was that that's not really a good idea because you really don't start to see the result until what? So, before the big treatment, would you say? Yes. But even some patients, they can see immediately the results after one treatment, but to maximize your results, you don't just want to do one. Right. And I think the people that see a result right away are typically the ones that have more browns than reds, yes. don't you? Mm -hmm. yep. Because if you have a lot of brown correctly, what will happen is they'll turn into little, what we call coffee brown, yeah, coffee brown granules on the skin and that peel off. And so one of the things that's great about this device is there's really virtually no downtime at all. 
you can go back to work and nobody will know you've had anything done at all. Unless, of course, you have the brown. <clears throat> and in that case, I think they don't see those coffee grains, and so it's really not a no downside of the rice. You get a lot of brown. But, so, you know, in reality, you want to do multiple treatments with this laser before, or with this light device before you'll start to see the results. Even though it's not technically a laser, we still put it under the laser category. Yes. So what do you like about this device, Sylvia? I like that my patients get a good result, even though they don't really have to deal with any downtime with this. Right. Because, you know, people are so active these days, they really don't want to have any downtime. Or don't want people to know that they're having something done. Which I think is so funny, because I let everyone know I have stuff done. Me too. I don't really care. And I'm not self at all. <laughs> But, you know, people are funny, you know, I know a lot of guys that do steroids to look bigger and they'll never admit to it for some reason. You're a good doctor, you know. Okay, I'm going to have to stretch. Good. Thank you. Um, now, I think that, again, I'm really a big combo laser treatment kind of guy or device treatment kind of guy. Like, I would never just do this one device. Um, so I really, I like to combine it with other things. And for me, I really like to combine it with a Fraxel. And a Fraxel is a Erbium laser. And what that one does is it uh, resurfaces the surface of the skin with minimal downtime. And for me, when I do that device, sometimes I'll swallow up a little bit. Most of the times I, I look like I've just had a little bit of a sunburn. And what's great about that one is it, it smooths out the pores. It uh, evens out your texture by making it smoother, and it also gets rid of browns and discolors from the skin. And that one's a superficial device, so then I like to also do a um, deeper device called the Sublata. And with that one, it's a radio frequency, it's not a laser, but what it does is it, it goes deeper into the tissue, and by going deeper into the tissue, it targets the fibroblasts. Well, it doesn't target them, but it eats the fibroblasts which are the factors for collagen elastic fibers. And you can really see some nice improvement in the tone of your skin and a little bit of tightening of the skin. And it works really well in, in, uh, for people that are getting acne treatments or people that have fine lines and wrinkles. And so I really like the combination of the four. The IPL, which we're doing right now. Um, I like the Fraxel for the superficial texture, the Sublative for the deep skin tightening, and then the sublime for the uh, thinner skin areas, like around the eyes. So, Zarlene, tell me about your favorite combinations with this. Or do you think this is enough? I like this. Well, it really depends on the patient and what they're coming in to see me for in the office. But I really like this with the sublative. And why do you, why do you like to combine them? Well, first of all, you know, this... As you had said, this targets the reds and the browns, but sometimes you need a little bit more of a boost. So for fine lines or wrinkles, especially if you have um, acne scarring like I do, I'd want to add the sublative onto the treatment regimen. Right. Yeah, I really think the three in combination are the best because you get the, with this you get the reds and the browns, and um, then with the fraction, you get the surface of the skin, getting rid of browns and improving texture, and then get the tissue tightening with this layer. It's actually called a trinity, mm -hmm. a holy yep. trinity. And <clears throat> with the fraction, it's actually, uh, we call it the trinity enhanced. Is that the right terminology? Yes. Yes. Go ahead and ask. Are we going on the second pass this is now? The second pass. So okay. tell them what. Because we do two passes with this device, and tell them what the difference is. So the first pass targets your uh, browns, the pigmentation in your skin, and then the second pass targets the reds. So tell me, once we call it a shorter wavelength and a longer wavelength, right? Mm -hmm. And tell me what the difference is, because I, I don't really know what that means. Yes, you do, doctor. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I swear I really don't. So the shorter wavelength targets the which one? The browns. The browns, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the shorter wavelength is getting the browns and the longer wavelength is getting the reds. The reds, yeah. Okay, great. And what well, I do know a little bit about wavelengths actually because I've been in here first and I'm a But 
the longer wavelength actually penetrates deeper deep. into the tissue, yeah. and so therefore it's going to bypass the browns. Yeah. So you explain this to me and make it easier for me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if I need a little bit more of um, a boost, and my patients have those stubborn telangic phages or reds, especially around this area, the nose area, um, or around the nasal labial fold, sometimes I even um, throw in the XLV. And the XLV targets what? Your telangic phages, the reds. The reds, okay, yeah. yeah. So that's one thing that's nice about contour is that we have multiple devices and if we find one device isn't working, we can add in another device. So it's just not a one one shot, one one no device one shot. Done. Yeah, yeah. So and they're really I, I sort of think that they have different recipes for each patient. So they can really customize it for each person. So it's not it it really does make a difference, you know. Skin color makes a difference and um, how much sun exposure makes a difference and of course age of the patient and you know just type of skin too don't you think? Yes and you can definitely tell the difference between somebody who's taking care of their skin as opposed to another individual who doesn't. What happens with a little bit to the left? So you're talking about you wearing sunscreen or wearing are you talking about? Wearing sunscreen and doing lasers for maintenance. Uh -huh. Because unfortunately we have time and gravity against us so we have we have all these measures that we can implement to help combat that. So what what kind of um, products do you like after you, do you recommend for your patients to do IPLs? Well I definitely tell them they need to have um, sunscreen but I also tell them to use the Retin-A and the Obagi um, kit also. How, how do you feel doctor? I'm doing great thank you. How bad yeah, I, I, it's not bad at all. From a scale of 0 to 10, how uncomfortable was it? I'd say like a 4. Mm -hmm. Now, Zerlene's really nice because she'll turn the laser down a little bit. So if she sees you squirming, she'll turn it down. Now, um, I have another nurse here, Carol. No, I won't. Actually, I'll just encourage you. <laughs> <laughs> well, another one of our laser nurses, Carol, will turn it up until you're, you're I'm a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm always telling her to turn it down just a little bit. But she encourages you and tells you, you can do it, you can do it. No, she does do that. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> so are we done? We are done. Let me okay, just so, remove this. So this, is, this was really the treatment. You can see how easy that was. Um, and you can see that there's virtually no after effect that you're going to see. I look a little bit pink. But quite honestly, with some devices, people will say, what have you had done? Well, this device, I've never had anybody say, what have you had done? Um, so... For those of you who are self-conscious about having treatments, I think this is a great thing to do. Do you mind if I on? So, it's really that easy, so thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, contact us at contourderm.com.